MPI funding is contributing to a research project trying to extend bumblebees' pollinating services using a pheromone that mimics one excreted by the bumblebee queen. It's part of a wider research and development program aimed at the long-term sustainability of the horticulture sector. Work is underway at New Zealand Gourmet in Waiuku, where a range of capsicums are grown. Here in Waiuku we have about five hectares of capsicums in the glasshouse and it can produce between 1,200 and 1,400 tonnes of capsicums per year. We try to be as sustainable as possible with uh, using natural gas and burn the boiler at daytime so we can use the CO2 in the glasshouse because capsicums, they need a lot of CO2. Also, we collect the roof water and we use it for irrigation. Collect the drain water afterwards which we reuse, so yeah, there's a very small environmental footprint from this side. We're growing the normal blocky red and yellow capsicums, mainly for export to Japan, but we also grow the polyomos, that's a long red, orange and yellow capsicum, very, very sweet, and that goes to uh, certain customers in Japan. We are producing fresh vegetables and for that reason we don't like to see any residues on the fruit and for that reason we use predators and biocontrols to control our pests and diseases. We're using predators for mite control, for strip control, aphids and for caterpillars we use uh, bacteria and then for fungal control we use sulfur evaporators that are working at night and it keeps the disease pressure as low as possible. Efficiencies is the main thing, uh, trying to get as much as possible from a plant. So we're constantly looking for newer, better varieties and for different growing techniques to, uh, to increase production. The fruit size and the fruit shape is driven by good pollination. And for that reason, we're using bumblebees, especially at the end of the season because then uh, as the plant gets older, the pollen quality gets down. And to keep a good pollination, we put bumblebees in just to maintain the fruit size, fruit quality, and with that as well, the shelf life. I work for Zonda Beneficials as production manager. I look after the production of bumblebees and predatory mites. This project is a three years long project, and it comprises of three main objectives. First objective is to extend the lifespan of commercial bumblebee hives. The second one will be to establish a mass breeding system for a New Zealand native mite, Amblyseus limonicus. And the third one is to improve the existing mass breeding system for a already here very successful predatory mites, which is Pyrex uh, persimilus. We breed these bumblebees in a dark room inside red light if we need to. So this is our soil hive and this is a show hive just so that you can see clearly here what goes in this hive. Uh, we, sell, we send everything you see here in this sale box here and minus the food because we don't want to send the hive with the food otherwise the bees won't come out. So whole entire colony here with the mother queen and its babies and newly laid eggs etc. They go in the hive and they, they are ready to go out. The bees are hovering around the eggs, mass, brood. They are actually nursing bees, so they are looking after the young babies, larvae, and they are feeding them and making sure that they are all good and the hive is nice and clean. And the one they are desperate to fly out, they are actually soldier bees. Uh, they know that we are handling the hive and their home might be in danger, so they are trying to get out and sting us. The empty cases, they are actually hatched bees and they, they are very clever. So empty cases, they utilize them as honey pots as well. So they will fill them up with the honey. So they are very clever at saving labor. And uh, the big roundy structure, they are pupae. So the new bees will be hatching out from this egg-like structure pupae in a week or two. And the donut kind of structure, they are larvae. This is a big project for us. It, it is budgeted about $400,000, and 40% of the funding will be covered by Sustainable Food and Fiber Futures Fund from Ministry of Primary Industries. So that's a very good thing. 
It's a three years long project and we are hoping to get the results by 2023, mid-year. These bumblebee boxes, they are reared commercially in a contained facility. We send them all over New Zealand by overnight courier. They are good for covered crop and greenhouse crop growers like tomatoes, blueberries, strawberries, kiwi fruits, etc. And yeah, they just, we just send them out in the field. Um, they are not fed in the hive, so they just go out in search of food and nectar. And while doing that, they do the pollination for the growers. Bumblebees, they have a shorter lifespan in comparison to their other members of the family, such as honeybees, so they don't last very long. And when they get a hive from us, they are expected to last about four to eight weeks. It may vary, but average about four to eight weeks, and it's time to replace the hive. We are looking into extending the lifespan of a commercial bumblebee hive. As we know, pollination is a very expensive exercise. Uh, they can cost about $100 to $150, and they have to replace the hive quite frequently. And it, it turns out to be a very expensive project for them. And we are trying to extend the lifespan of a bumblebee hive so they get more value for the money they spend. Bumblebees are eusocial insects. So the performance and establishment of a hive is established by pheromone release of a queen, mother queen, foundress queen. So what we see in a good colony, it's all being maintained by mother foundress queen by releasing the pheromones. So we'll be looking into how we can help the mother queen from outside to have better quality of the hive by having better dose and release of the pheromone inside the colony. Yeah.